Okay, let's get started with the eyes. First, you will need eye cold pencil or black pencil. Must be very, very creamy, very, very um, smudger uh, proof because you need to smudge that line you will create. I use this one by Aura, but probably you will not able to find this. Because of that, find which works for you and sharp, very, very good. And first you need to do is open your eyes and go out front of the mirror and kind of do it on top of the eye to kind of see it when you open your eyes and look straight you see that line. Go with very very small eyeshadow brush or something like this. I use this one because it blends very very good and very easy to apply and it's dense, it's not very loose. And kind of go and smudge a little bit, but don't smudge to down lid to be more on upper lid to your brow bone. Like this, take it more, like this. If you like more soft look, definitely you can go with the brown pencil. Okay, for today I'm gonna use this Graphic Garden eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take the blue one, which is Botanic Blue, and also Star uh, Stretch H. But also, if you don't have it, this palette or these colors, you can use it Urban Decay. This palette have kind of piece is the similar with that botanic blue and this one green it's kind of more greenish than this one but you can blend really really easily. Angle brush and go first with the botanic blue and kind of this apply where your end right here and don't even try to blend. First, you need to pick up the color. And kind of bring a little bit high. This strange H, which is beautiful kind of turquoise color, greenish bluish eyeshadow color. I'm going to wipe just a little bit the brush and dip into it and kind of start into the middle, not right here in the end, just in the middle and go and blend these colors together kind of to create like a uh, ombre effect.
Do you see? You will not able to see any lines between because this is kind of similar eyeshadow. It's one it's very bluish perfect eyeshadow. The other one it's kind of greenish but also like blue reflects into it. Next you will need nude highlight color but without shimmer because I will put shimmer on top of it. And I'm using Sigma Large Shading E60 brush which is very very huge and I love this brush for highlighting and Eyeshadow and vanilla eyeshadow and I'm gonna place that just into the highest point of the eyebrow and kind of just a little bit with the same brush blend together now again I will go with the eyeliner and kind of continue this end right here with the eye make it like line between and bring to your eyelashes like highliner but it's not necessary to be perfect and also put a little bit in this corner like this and now I'm gonna go with the same brush and kind of blend this a little bit don't blend too much for the in the part up here you will need to use white eyeshadow to kind of bright this up here and a little bit on my down lid but right now you need to be careful to do not ruin your line but also blend just a little bit in this corner to be all smooth right now we go with the yellow eyeshadow because i don't have a too much yellowish tone you can use a rocket yellow pigment by mac I'm using E shading E55 brush and kind of press this on the eyelid. Be careful to do not ruin this line. Because I'm practically done with the upper eye line, uh, eyes, I'm going to use black eyeshadow right now to fix all this in the corner. I know that this is going to be super long video but this is look which I think it's can be showing in five minutes definitely not five minutes because kind of need a little bit more time to do it okay right now with the eyeshadow I'm gonna kind of go into this line make it more contrast into the aisle okay on my brow bone for highlight i'm gonna use this pigment this is white with gold reflex and goes really really divine with this kind of looks and you see very sparkly definitely too sparkly I'm kind of press it and I'm gonna bring a little bit to the out like this and right now I will gonna line my down lid and again, I will gonna apply every color which I use 
on upper lid I'm gonna use on down lid the same and kind of continue this part very very good first of all eyeliner I smudge that eyeliner then go with the blue on top of that with the greenish color the blue one Like I said, on the top, the green one. Like this. And kind of, I'm gonna fix these ends. like this to be continued all smooth together like this get the same dust by before which it's golden which I put into the uh, brow bone and kind of apply right here and kind of blend this out to get like shimmery iridescence of this part this it's not too much visible but gives really really good finish of the look and this is the Dion eyes and of course bronzing powder I use with large powder F30 by Sigma because this gives a very soft kind of look not too much kind of strong contouring for this look I decided to go with peach peachy color on peach color peach, um, on the cheeks and very orangey bright on on the lips and cheeks and for that I'm gonna use Castle Sands um, blush color and this one be careful when you use these blushes because they are so so pigmented Don't put too much higher because you need to kind of have bright up right here. Also to get very, very glowy, dewy finish, today I'm gonna use my Golden Dust by Gosh. This is dust for the body and also for the face. I love this one because it gives very, very beautiful shimmery. You see? It's gorgeous. I love this one. Like I said, because I don't have it too much orangey stuff. I will gonna go with 66 lip palette by Costal Sands, but also you can take any orangey lip color. And this I'm gonna use this bright orangey color right here. 
with the brush I'm gonna apply that on top of my eyeliner I love this lipstick it have very very creamy texture but also it's very long lasting and don't sticky done you just really really good And also, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to mix all these lip glosses which I have here. I'm going to mix the golden one, which is this one. And also this reddish sparklish um, kind of orangey color. This is the down look. It's very, very intensive, very spring. For somebody, this is going to be too much, I know, but I really, really like it. And if you wanted to see more like these bright colors and kind of spring tutorials, post in the comments down below. And of course, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.